Hello, this is Steve from LearnExcel.app, and today we're going to make uh, a table in Excel. Now, what we're going to do is take something simple uh, like a shopping list, uh, and uh, and take that data and uh, and do some magical things with it. That's what Excel is good at: magical things. So, to start with, we have a list, just a simple list, item, milk, egg, sugar, etc. We have a count, so I'm going to get two things of milk, two things of eggs, two things of sugar, okay, and then we have a cost. How much does it cost? And then we have a total. Now, this total is linked to this, so if I hit 3 and move out of that cell, it changes to 12 and it changes this number down here, which is our total. Okay, so now, without further ado, let's make the table. So all I got to do is put an item, count, cost, and total. And what I'm going to do is take this and turn this into something called a table. Now to do this I've got two options. I can press Control T, or sorry, Command T, uh, or I can just go up to this little icon up here and hit table. And then my table does have headers. We press OK. OK. So uh, to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and copy what we have here. And then I'm going to paste special. And then I'm going to go to values and number formatting. OK. So that gives us pretty much what we have up here. And then for the formula, I'm going to go equals count times cost. Enter. Perfect. So everything tabulates. It's perfect. So now to get a little fancy, we're going to create a total. And uh, that'll be equals and then sum. And then we're just going to take this like so and copy that and in the parentheses and then press enter. Now anything I do to this adds to it but let's move this over here just like so. Still changes. So let's see if I add something to the list what will it do like bread. And I need two loaves of bread at $1.99 a loaf. 38. Did it change it up there? Let's try it one more time. Three it changes that up there. So we have got ourselves a table. Now let's go and change some other aspects of this. So I'm going to change the font. And my computer is slow, so let's see. Shouldn't be that slow. And I usually go with Futura or Century Gothic. And today we're going to go with Century Gothic. And then it's labeled as 12. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. And then like that. Perfect. So everything fits. All right. So now that we have this, um, what are, where do we want to go from here? What would be something that we could add to this? Um, let's say maybe a graph. Let's take a look at this. So what does it give us for graphs? If we go to insert and then now recommended, and this gives us a whole list of graphs that allow us to see uh, different things uh, with the same data. So instead of this, I'm going to go to, let's see. Yeah, I don't like that one. Let's go delete. Yeah. Let's add another graph. Insert. We'll go with the recommended one. We'll go with this one. And then 
I can just link it right there. I like this look. And then I can change this to my grocery list. bigger so we can actually see it and there you go you've got everything listed so what I'm doing here is changing the column type and I want to change it to a combo and then I can do it that way or this way and I think I'm going to do it that way and then I'm going to go chart options there we go so again this gives you an idea of what you can play around with uh, in Excel um, lots of different things can happen now that we've got it tabulated into this now the other thing I didn't show you was this uh, is you can do sorting ascending and descending and let's say I wanted to sort this ascending it just changes it backwards so again lots of different things you can do with Excel um, this is only meant to kind of spark uh, maybe those uh, creative juices to figure out what you want to do in your own personal life. Now, I use this for work a lot. Um, I work retail. So for me, I use this to count pallets and also to figure out how long it's going to take uh, someone to work those pallets. Again, it, it gives us a clear picture of, um, of what's there. So um, that being said, uh, if you guys have questions, please leave comments below. Uh, it helps me figure out which direction to go, and uh, and if there's a video that you want to see, something that you want me to bring up in Excel, uh, definitely leave a comment. And then uh, if I've earned the like and subscribe, if I've earned it, only if I've earned it, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And then uh, if you didn't like the video, hit dislike. Let me know that too. I take constructive feedback. So, uh, but that being said, have a good day. Thank you for watching.